Somebody asked me in a comment section, is artificial intelligence going to replace us all? What's the point of learning 3D if we're all going to get replaced by AI? And then I spoke about this on Instagram a little bit. And I made a little bit of a analogy as I like to do. And I said that back in the day, when something happened to you, when you got injured, your leg got injured, maybe you stepped on a, or you got shot in the foot or something happened to you, okay? I'm talking 250 years ago before the invention of anesthesia. You would have a guy with a hacksaw and he would cut your leg off with no painkillers, no anesthesia, which means naturally you're kicking and screaming and you're telling him don't do it, don't do it, okay? So he has to have an assistant by his side or maybe two or three of them to hold you down. This person's job is to hold you down and ignore your screams and begging as they cut your leg off with a saw without any painkillers, okay? And then eventually, I think it was like 1862 or something like that, they came up with anesthesia. So now they could knock your ass out and they no longer had to have a guy to hold you down while they cut your leg off with a saw, okay? So that the question is, does this mean that the guy who's holding down the people who are getting their legs cut off or the surgeon's assistant, is he going to get fired and be jobless all of a sudden? Is he now replaced by anesthesia? And I want you to think about that for a second, okay? Do you think it's more likely that this guy, now that this new invention came along, got fired and now he's homeless, begging for a living, or he's back to working at McDonald's like you think you're gonna end up? Or do you think that now, his job just changed because now he has this new invention that he can use and maybe now he can start a business out of selling anesthesia to surgeons, perhaps. Which of these do you think is more likely? Well, I'm certain that some of them ended up working at McDonald's if there was such a thing as McDonald's back then. I'm using an analogy, perhaps they were cleaning the fucking streets. I don't know what they were doing. Certainly some of them ended up cleaning the streets, but the others, the ones who were smart, realized, holy shit, now we got anesthesia. So now we have this new technology or this new invention, it's not technology, we have this new medicine where people no longer have to get their legs cut off. This is gonna be fucking amazing. This is gonna change the world. So now I can start a business out of distributing this anesthesia to surgeons, which means I can make even more money, okay? So while you're over here complaining about the invention of anesthesia, he's over there hustling, okay? AI is going to change the world. There's nothing you can do to stop it. It might be Skynet in 10 years. It might just be a better version of ChatGPT, maybe Aryan's AI, who the fuck knows, okay? But AI is going to change the world. It's not going to stop, but nothing can happen to stop this transformation. And guess what? It's gonna be a positive change most likely because there's a guy right now, I look at this guy on my street every other day. He rolls by in a wheelchair, he has no legs. I'm not talking about he's missing half of his legs. He's got nothing, okay? And he's in a wheelchair and every time you see him roll down the street, if anybody else lives in Budapest right now, maybe you know who I'm talking about. He rolls down the street and he's yelling and he's talking to himself, nobody knows what he's saying, okay? And if you look behind him, if you step behind him, he shit himself every time there's like toilet paper full of shit, okay? Now maybe, just maybe one day, Artificial intelligence is going to reach a point where somebody like Aryan can design prosthetics for him. And then there's gonna be another guy like you perhaps who knows how to use this new technology. So you can put a chip in his head and coordinate that with the prosthetic legs that I've put together. And now we can give this guy some legs, okay? So whatever way you slice it, this is a good thing for humanity, all right? So just because you don't like the idea of losing your job to AI doesn't mean that we should doesn't mean that there's a, doesn't mean that this is a bad thing for humanity, okay? So you have to figure out a way to roll with it. We're not gonna wait for you. We want AI to come by. If you can be replaced by AI, that means you were never good enough in the, in the first place. That means you have to figure out a way to be irreplaceable, okay? Like Aryan, for example, or like Elon Musk. So you have to figure out a way to get around this because it's coming for you. If your job is so simple that it can be done by a monkey, or by AI, for example, that means that you are too useless and you are not irreplaceable. That means you deserve to be under this sort of pressure. So this is a wake up call for you. Figure out a way to get around it. Figure out a way to use it. Figure out a way to be more useful to mankind. Good luck.